This is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, and I am pleased to welcome you for this second session of online classes. I hope you understood the Module 1, on how to create a plain weave. Now it's time for us to further proceed with creating various other weaves. Let us launch the Adobe Photoshop CS6, now we will proceed with creating Twill Weave. Twill Weave is a basic weave, which is based on a unit of three or more individual warp threads and three or more individual weft threads. Twill weave is classified as warp face twill and weft face twill. Examples of warp face twill are 2x1 twill, 3x1 twill, 4x1 twill, and so on. Examples of weft face twill are 1x2 twill, 1x3 twill, 1x4 twill, etc. Let us begin with 2x1 Twill. Select File and New. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as Twill Weave 2x1, as we are going to create a 2x1 Twill Weave. The 2x1 twill weave has a minimum repeat of 3 in warp, and 3, in weft and keep the settings as pixels, the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. Now a new document with file name twill weave 2 underscore 1 is created. You can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and select the desired color for the warp yarn. Start to place the markings two up and one down. Now select the color for weft yarn and start to place the markings to the weft. Now that we have done it, it is now needed to convert the image into a pattern. Select edit and define pattern, the pattern name dialog box appears and note that it has automatically generated the name as twill weave 2 underscore 1. Click OK. Now let us create a 1 by 2 twill. Select file and new. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as Twill Weave 1 by 2 as we are going to create a 1 by 2 Twill Weave. The 1 by 2 Twill Weave has a minimum repeat of 3 in warp and 3 in weft and keep the settings as pixels and the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. Now a new document with file name twill weave 1 underscore 2 is created. You can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and select the desired color for the warp yarn. Start to place the markings 1 up and 2 down. Now select the color for weft yarn and start to place the markings to the weft. Now that we have done it, it is now needed to convert the image into a pattern. 
Select Edit and Define Pattern, the Pattern Name dialog box appears and note that it has automatically generated the name as Twillweave 1 underscore 2. Click OK. It is now time to preview the weave pattern that we have created. So click on File menu and select New. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. We can hide the grid lines visible on the new document by going to view and uncheck the extras option. Select edit and fill, the fill dialog box appears. Select the 2 by one twill weave pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Keep the blending mode to be normal and click OK. Now the pattern is filled to the document. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Diagonal lines can be seen on the face of the fabric running at 45 degree angle. It is now time to preview the 1 by 2 twill weave pattern that we have created. So click on File menu and select New. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. Now a new document is created. Select Edit and Fill, the Fill dialog box appears. Select the 1 by 2 twill weave pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Keep the blending mode to be normal and click OK. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Diagonal line can be seen on the face of the fabric running at 45 degree angle. Select file and save, here I have a personalized Photoshop folder where I save the image as twillweave2 underscore 1.jpg and twillweave1 underscore 2 and click OK. Now let us create a 3 by one twill. Select File and New. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as twill weave 3 by one as we are going to create a 3 by one twill weave. The 3 by one twill weave has a minimum repeat of 4 in warp and 4 in weft and keep the settings as pixels and the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. You can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and select the desired color for the warp yarn. Start to place the markings 3 up and 1 down. Now select the color for weft yarn and start to place the markings to the weft. Select edit and define pattern, the pattern name dialog box appears and note that it has automatically generated the name as twillweave 3 underscore 1. Click OK. So click on File menu and select New. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. We can hide the grid lines visible on the new document by going to View and uncheck the Extras option, this will remove the grid lines from the new document. Now select Edit and Fill, 
the fill dialog box appears. Select the 3 by one twill weave pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Diagonal lines can be seen on the face of the fabric running at 45 degree angle. Select File and Save, and save the image as twillweave 3 underscore 1.jpg and click OK. There are a few derivatives of twill weave namely pointed twill, combined twill, broken twill, herringbone twill, diamond twill and so on. Now let us create a 3x3 three three pointed twill. A pointed twill also known as zigzag twill is the simplest and one of the most important modifications of twill weave which is produced by reversing the direction of twill at suitable interval. Select File and New. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as pointed twill 3x3. Three three. The 3x3 three three pointed twill weave has a minimum repeat of 6 in warp and 6 in weft and keep the settings as pixels and the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. Now a new document with file name pointed twill weave 3 underscore 3 is created. We can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and select the desired color for the warp yarn. Start to place the markings 3 up and 3 down and start to move towards the right till the markings has reached the 6th weft yarn. Now reverse the marking downwards. This creates a simple repeat for the 3x3 three three pointed twill. Select the color for weft yarn and start to place the markings to the weft. Now that we have done it, it is now needed to convert the image into a pattern. Select Edit and Define Pattern, the pattern name dialog box appears with the name as pointed twill weave 3 underscore 3. Now click OK. So click on File menu and select New. The new dialog box appears. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. We can hide the grid lines visible on the new document by going to View and uncheck the Extras option. Now select Edit and Fill, the Fill dialog box appears. Select the 3x3 three three pointed twill weave pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Select File and Save and save the image as pointed twill weave 3 underscore 3 dot jpeg and click OK. Now let us create a 5x5 five five herringbone twill weave. Herringbone twill are those in which the direction of twill is frequently reversed at suitable intervals either across the width or along the length. Select File and New. The new dialog box appears. Type the name as Herringbone Twill 5x5. The 5x5 Herringbone Twill Weave has a minimum repeat of 10 in warp and 10 in weft and keep the settings as pixels and the resolution to 96 pixels per inch and click OK. You can now zoom in the document using Ctrl plus plus key in the keyboard. Now select the pencil tool from the tools palette and select the desired color for the warp yarn. Start to place the markings 5 up and 5 down and start to move towards the right till the markings has reached exactly to the middle. Now select the color for the weft and start to place the markings to the reverse moving downwards. Also mark the remaining weft markings.
Select the eyedropper tool from the tools palette to pick the color of the warp yarn and mark the remaining warp markings. This creates a simple repeat for the 5x5 herringbone twill. Now that we have done it, it is now needed to convert the image into a pattern. Select edit and define pattern, the pattern name dialog box appears with the name as herringbone twill weave 5 underscore 5. So click on file menu and select new. In the new dialog box set the width and height to 500 pixels and click OK. Now select edit and fill, the fill dialog box appears. Select the 5x5 five five herringbone twill weave pattern from the custom pattern that we have already created. Keep the blending mode to be normal and click OK. Now the pattern is filled to the document. Press Ctrl plus plus to zoom in to see the weave pattern. Select file and save, and save the image as herringbone twill weave 5 underscore 5.jpg and click OK. Thank you all for listening to me. I will again come to you with another useful session on textile design. Till then this is Dr. R. Anil Kumar, Assistant Professor in Textiles and Apparel Design, Periyar University, Salem, India Bye Bye.